Hi, my name is Dr. Jason Rowan and this is my six month old Irish Wolfhound puppy Tully. Today Tully is going to be evaluated for hip dysplasia. What is hip dysplasia? Hip dysplasia is defined as a loose or poor forming hip socket joint. The varying degrees of looseness of the hip joint predispose the joint to getting inflammation and arthritis later in life. It is important to know the conformation of your dog's hips so that you can breed for good hips and also so you know what level of activity or performance your dog can handle. Today we are performing a pen hip evaluation. First we sedate the dog with a reversible sedation. Tully doesn't like needles very much, but it only takes a second. We usually place the dogs in a nice quiet room to settle down. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes for the sedation to start kicking in. Once the dog is fully asleep, we take measurements for the x-ray machine. Finally, once he is asleep, we just have to get the big lug over to the x-ray table. The pen hip procedure involves three x-ray views. First is the hip extended or traditional OFA view. Some hip evaluations only look at this view, but the pen hip procedure involves two additional views to make an objective numerical evaluation of the hips which we compare to other dogs of the same breed. The second view is the compression view which shows how tightly seated the bone can be in the socket. For the third view, we use a device called a distractor and we place gentle inward pressure on the inside of the legs to form the distracted view, which shows how far the hip ball can sit out of the socket. The x-ray views are sent away digitally to a radiologist who comes up with a numerical score for the hips, which can be compared to other dogs of the same breed. We use the reversal injection to reverse the sedation, and we monitor the scruffy puppy while he's waking up. Dogs can be a little bit sleepy after the sedation, but overall it is very, very safe, and they don't have any long-term effects. It usually takes about a week to get the results back, and your veterinarian who's certified in pen hip can discuss the results with you. There are many benefits of the pen hip method over the traditional FA view. First, you can do an evaluation at four months of age before they are at breeding age. It's a numerical objective method with no bias from the evaluator. Lastly, your dog's results are compared against a huge database of dogs of the same breed. This allows you to make good breeding decisions and good care decisions if you know the propensity for arthritis. In case you're wondering, Tully only ranked in the 30th percentile of dogs of his breed, but Irish Wolfhounds overall have very sound hips and are not prone to arthritis later in life. We have no plans to breed Tully. He is our family pet. And with the scores that we received from Penhip, we have no concerns for arthritis in the future.